Now, I want to tell you some of Mukul's words. He is so witty, and he's always thinking we're talking about. Uh, there was a sign there, you know, it said, uh, reach in peace, P-E-A-C-E, not pieces, P-I-E-C-E-S. means drive carefully so that you get there. And then Emilco makes up once, and he'll call them back to me, and I'm writing them down. Impatient on road, patient in hospital. <laughs> Drink and drive, don't mix. Better late than never. Drive in haste, rest in peace, R.I.P. Speed thrills, but kills. Mukul, I love them all. We stopped on the road for a rest, a pea, a tea, and a spice biscuit, and a sweet cake. Cost 25 cents to sit and eat. <laughs> he, he don't want you sitting on his <laughs> benches. Just sitting there and not eating, you have to pay a charge, so you might as well order and eat something, too. And it was very good. We enjoyed it, and we talked to the to the owner. The toilets were uh, native. Ex you know, that means stand-ups with the ribbed things to put your feet on so you don't slip. And there was a European toilet, and we used that. Uh, now this man who charges the 25 cents to sit and eat, he was a gay man, we could tell, and he was very nice. And, uh, and then later on we're driving on the road, you know, and we stop on the road, I don't know what for, to read a sign there, uh, do we go this way or that way, and here comes a priest, and he's, he wants to talk. You know, he, he, he sees us American people. He wants to talk. <laughs> His name was Father Matthews, and he was of St. Mary's. He has diabetes. He's short and heavy. Uh, the church is CSI, the Church of India, and uh, the Catholic Church of India. We go from the East Coast to the West Coast to the Western Cots Mountains. I told you about that already. I wrote it down here for some reason. So that's all. I've learned two words already. Par ua ili ilae. Par ua ilia ilia. No thanks. And rumba nundri. Thank you very much. <laughs> How about that? Anyway, he didn't come in the car. He was just standing outside talking, and we had the windows down. But he gave me a blessing in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Uh, through the window. So that was very nice. Then I told him about our father, Tom, who was an Indian missionary priest at our Catholic St. Elizabeth. Then we went on a boat trip. And it looks like a Chinese junk. Well, we went on Lake Vembanad. Vembanad. And this lake is getting smaller uh, because it is getting eating, eaten up by plants. This is, uh, we're staying at the Coconut Lagoon back, back at the lake. The hyacinths are taking over the lake and soon it will be shallow. And then eventually ground. They do have a deep area. I says, now how, how deep is the deepest area? 30 feet deep. I forgot to ask about fish. But I did see uh, guests out there with uh, fishing poles, so I guess there may be fish there. Many guests are here from France, Germany, Switzerland. And Mughal speaks all those and more languages, and the people really enjoy talking to him, and he tells them they want to know where he's been and the, where are they going, and, and he tells them this and that, you know, and what to, to look for on, on the way where they're going, you know. Ah, his joke, he had a joke, and he said it to them in their languages, you know, but we're there, Betty and I are sitting there, and and of course, we can't understand him because he's either speaking in in the Swiss or or France or German. So he says to them, "I am stuck here with these two American ladies. One is young and the other one is old. 
And I have to take them all over southern India. And hopefully they will leave for their home. <laughs> and we didn't know that. And Betty and I are sitting there and we're bobbing our heads and smiling. <laughs> what boobs we are. 